Today we are going to discuss about the maximum power transfer theorem. By using maximum power transfer theorem, we can determine the unknown resistance value. Whenever the maximum power transfer to this unknown resistance value. Okay. Now the maximum power transfer theorem states that whenever the load resistance is equal to the source resistance, then only maximum power transfer to the load resistance. Okay. Now to determine this resistance, I want to use the Thevenin's theorem procedure. Now, we are saying that whenever source is called load, then only maximum power transfer. Here, source is nothing but Thevenin's resistance. Source is nothing but Thevenin's resistance. Okay. Now, what is the procedure for Thevenin's resistance? While determining the RTH, we need to remove the load resistance and the voltage source must be short circuit. Okay. Now, for this circuit, this is the RTH circuit. Okay. Here load is removed and voltage source is short circuited. Now we need to determine the resistance between these removed branches. Here we need to determine the resistance. Okay. If you observe here, how these two are connected? R1 and R2. These two are connected in parallel. Now it is given by R1, R2 by R1 plus R2. Now this combination is in series with the R3. Now substitute all these R1, R2, R3 values in this formula, then you will get RTH as 2 kilo. Now this is the unknown resistance value. RTH is nothing but source resistance is equal to this load resistance. Okay. Now I want to determine what is the maximum power at this load resistance. For that, I need to determine the VTH. Thereafter, I need to determine the current. Thereafter, power. Okay. First see the VTH procedure. For determining the VTH, we need to remove the load. After that, determine the voltage across this remote branches. That is called VTH. Okay. Now, voltage across this branch is nothing but voltage across 1.5 and voltage across 1 kilo. Whereas here, this is open circuited. So the current through this one is 0. Now, V is equal to I into R. That is 1.5 into 0. It will become 0. Now, voltage across A and B is nothing but only voltage across R2. Okay. Now, how to determine this voltage across R2 by using the voltage division rule? Now, VTH is equal to total voltage into here, same resistance means R2 by total resistance means R1 plus R2. Okay. Substitute all these values, voltage value, R1 value, R2 value in this formula, then you are going to get the VTH value as 5 volts. Okay. Now, substitute this VTH as well as this RTH. In this equivalent circuit. Now, this is the Thevenin's theorem equivalent circuit. Okay. Now, VTH 5 volts, RTH is 2 kilo ohm, and RL. RL is actually 2. Why? Because source is called load. But this is for lab experiment. For lab experiment, initially we don't know the load resistance value. For that purpose, we need to take some trial and error method. That is, we need to take different resistance values. That is of 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1, 1 1.2, 1.4, up to 4 kilo ohms we need to take. Okay. For that, first I want to determine the current. I is equal to VTH by RTH plus RL by using Ohm's law. Here VTH is constant, RTH is constant. Why? Because while determining VTH, it is independent of RL. Why? Because already RL is removed from the circuit. That means VTH is independent of RL. If you observe this formula also, in this we don't have RL. Now it is independent of RL. Similarly, while determining the RTH also, the RL is removed. If you observe the formula, in this formula we don't have any RL. That means VTH as well as RTH, these two are independent of RLs. So in this current formula, VTH, RTH both are constant. Only the RL is going to change. That is 200, nothing but 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, up to 4 kilo ohms we need to apply. Okay, now see here. IRL is called voltage is constant, resistance is constant, whereas load is given by 0 0.2. First case, determine the current. Thereafter, power. What is the power equation here? I square into R. Now, substitute here. I square means 2, I into I, 2.27. Here we got 2.27. Substitute here. 2.27 into 2.27 into RL value is 0 0.2. First case. Now I got the power as 1.03 milliwatts. Similarly, you can apply 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8 up to 4 in this place, RL place. Okay. Now for demo purpose, I have taken only three values that is 0 0.2, 2, and 
4. Now for 2, I got this as current and this as power. Similarly for 4, I got this as current and this as power. If you observe these three, this is your 0 0.2 case. This is for whenever RL is equal to 2. This is for whenever RL is equal to 4. In these three cases, which one is maximum power? This one is your maximum power. Why? Because it is 3.125. Okay. Now, what is the statement of the meaning? Sorry. What is the statement of maximum power? Whenever the source is equal to load, then only maximum power transfer. Here, the maximum power is transferred, if you observe. In these three cases, in this case only, the maximum power is transferred. So, what is the resistance in this case? That is 2 kilo ohm. Now, it's the unknown resistance value is 2 kilo ohm. Now, this is 2 kilo ohm practically. Okay. Now, this is for procedure for maximum power transfer theorem. Okay. Thank you.